one of the craziest episodes of the Power Universe? Potentially. Welcome back to Fog Entertainment. We are here with Loyal to the End. This episode begins. We've got Marvin showing the effects, the damage that was caused in that fire. I'm thinking, damn, is Lou deed? Lou's no deed. He's in intensive care, but he's no deed. And I'll tell you what is going on, though. Marvin is going on a drive-by. He rolls past this hospital, sort of spraying with a big Tommy gun, man. He fires into Unique's car, which, uh, thankfully for him, it's bulletproof. Him and his son managed to escape a few guys, catch a few strays, um, and his crew shoots Marvin. Um, the guy that gave up Kenan last episode was the driver, and then Kenan, uh, no, sorry, Marvin just shoots him, and it's like, damn, what a, what a fucking start to an episode, by the way. That's how you start it. Um, Raquel pretty much just ends things here with sympathy, which I feel kind of sort of, I've got sympathy for sympathy. Because I, I, I t symphony? Aye, whatever, whatever this guy's name. I, I actually do feel sorry for him here. Like, she's just like, basically disowns him. He's like, uh, you can't be scared. And I get it, he probably shouldn't have used the word scared, but again, like he knows who she is. Um, but obviously him last episode overhearing that there's a wiretap in the bar that Marvin goes to. Don't stop them for doing this, and uh, tells her that you need to watch Erin. I believe her name's Erin. Um, tell Marvin to, to watch Erin, damn it. Which is absolutely true, by the way, because she will rap. Well, that's been some of his last scene. I'm not too sure, but we've got Lou in the hospital. He's not exactly waking up. We see Marvin talk to uh, Rock about everything that went down this morning. What went down this morning? Obviously, this whole shootout shit. Um, says, yep. Turns out the rumours were true. His car is bulletproof. And essentially, it looks like Marvin's doing his own thing. He's not part of the crew. He's like, you know what, I'm a man. I can't sit back and just watch my little sister and brother run things. But hell, when you start getting hurt, I'm going to step up to the task that I did when we were younger and looked after you and I'm going to get fucking revenge because no one fucks with my family. Roll on to the controversial scene this episode where he's in the house with Kenan. Kenan wants better music on He's going to go into Jukebox's room, but then Marvin's like, you know what, Kenan, I'll go get the better music, son. I'll go get the music. I'll go play the game, brother. I'll go play the game. So what happens? They go and play the game. Um, he goes in. He finds these pictures with Jukebox and Nicole. I don't think the pictures were too incriminating, but obviously, uh, I was saying incriminating, like making her look like a lesbian. But yeah, Marvin can't believe this. He smashed up the house a bit. Kenan had to leave. Um, he smashes everything. He's got the tape out. Jukebox then comes home and I'm like, hmm, what's going to happen here? Obviously, we know Jukebox doesn't die. Could we see Jukebox potentially kill Marvin? And he's like, so you're some kind of girl faggot? What, Lebanese or some shit? And that got a cheap pop for me, man. I was near in tears at that line. It's just the delivery for Marvin was so funny. Like, obviously, lesbian. But he's like, you're Lebanese or some shit? Um, he, he breaks the tape and he's like, you know what? That's God making things right, killing her. Everything's meant to happen for a reason, because she's evil, you're evil, but it happened to her. So obviously Marvin's, uh, he, he believes in the straight, and you know, straight marriage and all that good stuff, and re reproduction and all that, so yeah, he's not too fa fan, too much a fan of his daughter being gay, or a lesbian. She then attacks him first, they get into a bit of a fist fight, I mean, it's mental, a grown man and his daughter... Uh, and then he starts chilling against the wall, he's like, yeah, you like that, you like that, and then he lets go, and yeah, it's, it's a sad scene, right, but does Marvin deserve to die for this, like, if Duke's told Kenan, I think Kenan would kill Marvin over it, like, if she told Raquel, I think, he, I think she would, because I think last episode, that's what was going to happen, is that she was phoning Lou to actually kill Marvin, to be honest, but, yeah, I mean, it's a brutal ass scene, it was very well done, um, <sighs> I mean, it's not nice, but they were attacking each other, like, and again, you know, people like to say, oh, I beat my kids, obviously it's in 91, but we've seen Kenan kill his own son, like, so when you've seen that, man, I don't really, I can't really comment too much on this, to be honest, so yeah, absolutely crazy, so the meat is then set with hard, he, he manages to save Lou in the hospital, because two guys tried to come in and kill him, but they're hard set up. Put it, put that shit storm in motion. Got to move beds and all that stuff. So yeah, Hard then quits. Plays we tag team partner. He then goes to meet, but then we see Kanan put on Unique's jacket, and I'm like, hmm, 
what is going on here? Wow, this is happening. Unique's giving this big speech. He's like, yeah, we're going to kill those motherfuckers. We're going to take their corners. This war ain't going to be long, but it's going to be bloody. All that talk. Lou then wakes up. Good to see that Lou ain't dead. Raquel then goes meet with her mother. This did nothing for me in the slightest. And the episode ends with Kanan with Unique's jacket on, slings the hood up, meets Hard, kills him. And Hard doesn't even get to say anything. So, yeah, I mean, it was desperate for Hard. I'm surprised they killed him. And I'm surprised they killed him without him even know, Without him even knowing. Um, what age? Or, no, sorry, that he's Kanan's dad. So, yeah, unless it comes out some other way, but end of the day, Def Con. Mental finding out that Def Con was gay as well. Bizarre, 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 bizarre. But anyway, guys, that's good day for this episode. Thought it was really good again. I'm going to give it another 8 out of 10. Raising Kanan. It's producing. That's episode 9, and that means I'm going to go watch the season finale now, and hopefully I'm not disappointed till then though. Peace.